Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina and I am here and I am very excited to be with you today to go over a brand new car seat. One that is totally new to the United States and one that I have an exclusive on at my store for the West Coast, at least for a little while longer. What we're looking at is the Baby Arc. So this is a brand new car seat. There is a ton of information about this car seat, so we're gonna get directly into it. And there's a lot of things that make this seat completely special, different, new than what is out there on the market. So one thing that's very exciting about it is that it is composed primarily of carbon fiber. So that is going to mean that it is less resistant to erosion over time uh, and degrading, not erosion, but the degrading that you get with typical plastics. Um, and there's gonna be specific safety features that they want me to call out while I'm going over this with you. So I wanna make sure that I do that. I'm gonna remove the infant insert. Uh, our lighting went off, so hopefully you can still see it, but this is quite an aggressive infant insert. The uh, baby arc, of course, comes with an instruction book that would tell you when and where to remove the pillow, but the seat itself starts from five pounds and it goes all the way up to 55 pounds for rear facing and then 65 pounds for forward facing. Another thing that's very special about this seat is this seat is used in conjunction with a base. I know, totally new for the US, um, something that we really only have on one other seat that I'm aware of, which is the Evenflow uh, Revolve seats. Those come off the base. I guess the Orbit Infant uh, to Toddler seat also, when it's in rear facing mode, uses the base. Forward facing, it doesn't. But here we will use the base in rear and forward facing. So uh, definitely very exciting. Now, one of the things that's going to make the seat special is that in the actual headrest, um, I'm going to remove the infant piece there, they're going to use a special proprietary type of foam called D30. Um, that is an advanced polymer in the headrest. It's used for different military applications as well as in race car helmets, uh, Formula One, that type of thing. So it is much more advanced than your typical styrofoam. And when you press on the seat itself uh, along the headrest, you can feel it and it sort of feels like a very unique style of foam that sort of absorbs and then pops back. So that is very cool. Um, as you can see, the seat itself is adjustable with a no rethread harness. Um, it should be for the price. Uh, this seat is going to be, I think the last time I checked the price point that they had it at was um, $11.99. So it is the most expensive car seat currently on the market. It's $1,200, but it communicates with your phone. So we'll get into that as well. Um, there's a lot of things that this seat does. It will not work without the base. So again, this would not be one that you would install without the base. You are always going to utilize it with the base. And as you can see, um, there's magnet pieces here to hold the harness away. You have a totally unique chest piece, which is awesome. Very simple to do, sort of finds itself and hooks up there. And you have um, a typical five point harness. So all of that's gonna be typical. Now, when we turn the seat sideways, you'll see that it has a carbon egg frame. The carbon fiber that this is made out of, that is what's on the interior here. I'm not sure if you can necessarily see it, but it is supposed to be somewhat translucent. The carbon fiber is seven times more resilient than steel, especially at this specific atmospheric pressure. Um, and it is resistant to wear and tear. Uh, and then the egg shape of the seat, an egg is probably nature's safest little cocoon. So they felt that inspired uh, by that design uh, feature. So they've named it uh, the carbon egg frame. Now, another really special feature about this seat is gonna be that it has side impact protection, but it's not just any side impact protection. They have it called, uh, it biomimics what goes on with a woodpecker. So they studied a woodpecker's head and I think it's something like 100 times more G-force than what a human head can withstand. They applied this specific type of technology of how that head moves to the side impact pieces here. So they are saying that there's unparalleled energy distribution reducing accelerations transferred to the structure. When you're learning about car seats, 
uh, when you're becoming certified, they talk about a phenomenon called ride down. That is the amount of time it takes motion to transfer from the accident to the occupant. We want to increase that time as much as possible. So the more things that we can do and the specific ways that they're applied that uh, affect the ride down, the better off the safety of the occupant is. So that's a very exciting thing that they've included on the seat. We've seen a lot of side impact pieces that look um, so simple, but they make such a big difference. So it's really exciting to see the new technology being applied to the seat here. Now, that's stuff that's just going to be on the seat itself. On the base, I'm going to move the seat. It's so heavy. It's that carbon fiber frame. It also has fabric that zips off for washing, which I can um, certainly relift and show. But when the base is open up, on the inside here, there is what is referred to as an impact activated safe coil. And yes, this base is fully automated. It's talking to me right now. Um, I'm not really certain exactly how to turn it off just yet. So if it's buzzing and beeping, don't worry about it. Um, but there's a steel coil in there that's visible from this transparent window. What would happen is in an accident, this steel coil is going to pop open and that is going to uh, break the forward momentum of the seat and that will of course limit uh, exposure to force and trauma and it's also doing that cheating time that we talked about before with ride down it's just increasing that amount of time it takes for the force to move from uh, where it originates to the occupant so this bracing expanding and bracing is a really very unique cool feature that they're going to offer in the base of their seat. This piece here is now acting as an anti-rebound feature and you also have a stability load leg. There's only one other seat that I'm aware of that has a stability load leg on a convertible seat and that is currently the Cybex so it's a nice feature that this seat has it. That's the um, rotational Serona. This guy also has rigid latch in that it's steel, anchored in steel. It's not a flexible latch system, so they definitely want you to use it with lower anchors because that's going to activate that steel coil system. Um, there are other seats that are latch dependent for some of the safety features, so something to be aware of that. Um, and you can latch and belt it simultaneously according to their instructions. So again, that would be something you can consult in your book, uh, in your vehicle manual, and worry about that as much as you need to personally worry about that. But I just want to make sure that I cover that um, part of what we're talking about. The other thing that's exciting about this in terms of it communicating to your phone is that it can communicate a lot of actually very useful information. So. There are other types of products out there that do some phone communication, but the app here is actually very easy to use. I have it installed on my phone. The other thing that's pretty slick about it is that it provides real-time information to you. So depending on how you've had it set up, you can see when your babysitter picks up your child, when they drop off your child, when they're getting back into the vehicle. Um, it would also tell you things like if you've forgotten your child in your car, um, it can also send you information on when it's time to adjust the seat. So it will tell you when it's time to move perhaps the shoulder or headpiece up, as well as maybe adjusting angle of the seat based on the child's body weight and height. So it can communicate all of that to you. If that is something that interests you, it's a really cool feature. And that same app gives guidance on how to install. Now, what I'll say about that is I would never say completely trust the app in every sense of the word. You don't need to look at your book. Of course you need to look at your instruction manual. Of course you need to double check everything that you do. Even though the computer is telling you that it's perfect, this is a car seat. It is ultimately a responsibility to double check everything. So you're gonna wanna make sure you check that manual even though we have a fancy schmancy app that's gonna tell us what to do. Okay, cool. So um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to check out my next video where I install this Baby Arc base and car seat into their demonstration seat so you can see how slick it is. And I'll even give you uh, a view on my phone of how the app works. So very exciting. 
Um, and thank you again for sitting through the long list of unique safety features. We want to make sure that we get all of them correct. If you have questions, which wouldn't surprise me, or comments, which also wouldn't surprise me, please feel free to leave them below. And also please feel free to hit like or subscribe if this seems useful to you or um, you love the baby stuff. This is a good place for you to hang out. Okay, thank you so much. Check out our next video.